What is up Satama Wolfpack? Welcome back to another video. Today we've got some big exciting news. Yes guys, about Binance, exchanges, swapping feature, growth, investors, everything you guys want to hear. I'm about to tell you guys today in this video. So if you are new here, make sure you do turn that post notifications and uh, make sure you hit subscribe on the channel. And guys, just so you guys know, I'm not a financial advisor. This is purely for entertainment purposes. Uh, but let's get straight into this, guys. I don't want to waste your time here. I want to jump into all the juicy information, which you guys, I'm sure, are ready to hear. Uh, before we go further, I just want to say... Um, Make sure you do watch the very end of this video, guys, because you don't want not can't even talk today. You don't want to miss what I'm about to show you guys throughout the whole video. So we've got a, a few things I'm going to cover. First things first, price one seven six. Again, I said this in the last few videos. I'll say it again. This is our bottom line. I really believe that. Um, again, just my thoughts. I think this is kind of the bottom line where we're going to reach. We're not really going to go any lower than this. We may dip between the sixes and the sevens, one sevens, one sixes, but ultimately we're at our kind of fine line here, silver lining. Um, but what have we seen? Well, guys, take a look at this. This is exciting. Um, so Russ, obviously the CEO of Satama, has tweeted out a few things on Twitter, um, obviously talking about t tomorrow being the launch of SATA Reality. Uh, but most importantly, guys, and I think this is very big, uh, you can see here firstly that the first exclusive token launch on SATA Mass is here, get ready, uh, showing obviously the SATA Reality token being launched tomorrow. But take a look at this. Um, hey, Binance. Will you be in Dubai for Expo in a few weeks? Stop by Booth 6 if you get a chance. Have some cool stuff to put out for everyone. Cheers. So Russ here um, is trying to basically get some sort of establishment of Binance. Now, what do we know about Binance, okay? And does this mean anything? Well, here's what it goes like, guys. And I'm going to tell you exactly the truth about the situation right now within Binance and listings. And this may not, you may not like this, but this is the reality, guys, okay? Binance most likely won't list the time until the swapping feature fully is functioning, which it is now, um, but has multiple tokens involved. Why? Well, because they don't want a project that's not working. They want every they want projects that are already released. So for Binance to list Satama or the basically the the swapping feature needs to be fully working all the tokens need to be involved uh, ideally they're going to want to have the nft platform out they're going to want to have everything that they want released out uh, we've heard that before as well from binance so again we've heard that from russ himself so with that being said they're still trying to make some connections here with binance um, but i do think i really do think that binance are gonna uh, eventually list satama and why do i think that guys well Again, a lot of people are insinuating this as well. Zach tweeting out saying, how would a Binance list impact uh, in Satama thoughts? Um, again, it's going to add rocket fuel to the rocket already. Uh, but let's be realistic, guys, okay? When Binance lists, lists a token, and I did, I saw somewhere uh, these calculations as well, averaged over 18 tokens. So 18 tokens or cryptos that got listed onto Binance, after 30 days, they all averagely went up. The average amount that the tokens would go up, a token would go up is 100%. So we'd see about 100% increase over 30 days. That's typically, again, it's not going to say that's what would happen to Satama. I'm not saying that Binance has listed Satama. But I'm saying if they were to list it, typically speaking based off previous cryptos 100 percent increase over 30 days some being more some being less over six months are simply the results were something ridiculous like three to four hundred percent and that is just off a, a listing itself that's just off binance okay what would happen from binance would be a follow-on effect probably of coinbase and various other ones too um but binance is really kind of being something which people want to see um but Regardless of the listings, and I think this is very important, which people need to realize, okay? And some people really say, well, we need listings to grow. That's not certainly true. Um, you know, a lot it's looked, on, it's looked up on a lot that we need Binance, we need Coinbase. And, you know, not going to lie, it would definitely help. In fact, it would remotely help massively. You know, let's not try and beat around the bush here. Yes, the Tamar has made it as an exchange, but it's not big in a Binance and it's not big in a Coinbase yet. So Binance would dramatically help Satama. Okay, there's no denying it. Yeah, we, we might, may not need it in the long term, but again, it would dramatically help. Same with Coin, same with Coinbase um, and various other exchanges. So Satama has already released that their plan is to get on every single exchange. They don't want to not go on and they want to go on them. All of them. They want all of them. Um, but the key here is, do we really need them in the future? Well, obviously the answer is, no. Uh, short term, yes. Long term, no. And the reason why is because 
well, Satama has made their own exchange. They want to be bigger than these other exchanges, lower gas fees, better corporation. They want to be bigger than them. So effectively, you know, like I'm saying, and this is what people got to remember, the long term of things, um, you know, Satama itself won't need an exchange. But a lot of people seem to forget that, you know, we do kind of low key need, don't need, but would, would be very good if we have them. Because uh, again, you've got to remember our hyper burn is coming now. You can see uh, Satama tweeting this out. Uh, Manny the Hitman tweeted this out as well. Uh, are we ready with parts? Say to Rousey is on its way. Remember to keep some e for buy, sell. Look out for official announcement. Hyper burn initiating. Get ready. Guys, it's about to go. Um, and again, I'm not saying how, I can't tell you exactly how much or how big this is going to blow. Um, but I will stick to what I've said, and I always will say this, is it's not going to be a thousand times overnight. It's going to be six to 12 months. I really do think that. It could be less as well, guys. You know, it really could be. Um, but around six months from now, we're going to see all these things start to work, uh, start to add together, so to, so to speak. So, you know, the, the hyper burn will have the back end effect three, four, five, six months from now. Um, so will be the investors and the listings and all that type of stuff. What we've, what we've put the work, Satam has put the work into and the community, us guys as well, by you guys holding and supporting and the community being strong all helps uh, towards this. You know, if everyone was to sell, obviously the token would be where it is now. So again, uh, but this is what uh, a lot of people are saying, guys. Um, could we see Binance? It's an open discussion. Really is an open discussion. Uh, you can see Rush trying to tweet out there uh, to get Binance's attention. Clearly, Elemently wants to be listed onto Binance, otherwise he wouldn't be tweeting them. I think that's kind of self-explanatory there. Um, why would he ask to speak to Binance in Dubai if, if he didn't want to? So clearly, Satama still are looking to have that Binance list in there. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. So if you did enjoy this, make sure you subscribe, turn those post notifications, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.